Hello and welcome to Crime Watch. In this episode, we focus on cyber scams, which many Singaporeans continue to fall prey to. One scam which continues to be on the rise here is the online love scam. The enactment that you're about to see is based on a true account by a victim. Names have been changed to protect the identities of those involved. Hey, Serena. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, that's OK. Still moping about your divorce? Yep. Try this latest dating app. This pin is me, and this is Bob. And where is he? Right there. Pretty safe, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So I decided to give the app a try, where I met an American, Kenneth. Throughout the first few weeks, he was just wonderful. He pays so much attention to me, he made an effort of calling me every night just to talk. Kenneth was in Singapore doing some oil business. I always set my radius to 30 km, so every time we talked, I knew where he was. Hi, Kenneth. Sorry, no. Um, you are at Raffles Hotel and I'm 30 minutes away. Do you like to meet up for dinner later? I'd really love to, but I'm in the middle of this big oil business meeting. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Hello? Is that Serena Kwok? Yeah. Who is this? This is Sergeant Noriani from the Royal Malaysian Police. Do you know a Kenneth Brown? Yes. Please hold on. Serena. Kenneth? What's going on? I was detained at the KL airport. Something about drugs. You know, I don't do drugs. They're going to hand me for sure. Calm down, calm down, Kenneth. I'll call the Singapore High Commission. No, I, I don't trust anyone here. Please call my friend Mark Fangler. He's a lawyer. Just Google him. Yes, my, uh, may I speak to Mark Fangler, please? I need to speak to him urgently. I'm calling from Singapore. I'm a friend of Kenneth Brown. Kenneth, you old son of a gun. What's the problem this time? I'm sorry, I'm Serena. I'm a friend of Kenneth. Oh. He's in trouble with the Malaysia police. And um, he thinks that he has been framed. He said you, you know what to do and you will help him. I want to see the ticket and hotel first before I pack my bags. My secretary will give you our regular travel agent. Okay, okay, thanks. Hi, Serena. Yes? I'll text you your travel website. Can I have your number, please? Okay. Asking for money. Who? The police. So how much did they ask him for? 80 grand. And that's in US dollars. What? $80,000 in US? Don't worry. I can get some of our old drinking buddies to raise half. Are you able to somehow wrangle up the 40 grand US dollars? Can you do that? I'll see what can I do. Uh, if there's one thing I know about Kenneth, he's good for the money. He was always a really good businessman. Are you talking about his oil shipment to Mexico? Yep, that's it. I helped him put together the legal documents for his oil shipment. I reckon you helped him with the freight? Yes, yes, I did. I wired US $29,000 to help him release the oil shipment about a month ago. Okay, I will see what I can do. Maybe I can get a bank loan. Yeah, but you'll need to do the transfers in person. Do I have to come up to KL? No, oh, that's about the size of it. I'll see if I can get you some visit time with Kenneth. That would be nice. Mark, I'm in KR now. Yes, so am I. Um, I thought you said you would get me some visit time with Kenneth. Hmm, about that. Police just transferred him to some secret army camp. Said the money was late in coming. Okay, I'm going to the bank right now to transfer the 40000 The account is Unity Malaysian Bahab 
But I thought we are paying to these two policemen. Well, it's like this. The officers don't want their money deposited into their personal accounts. I'm sure you can understand. It's all under the table. Once you transfer it over, I will hand it to them personally. OK, thank you, Mr. Fendler. Perhaps we can meet up for a cup of coffee. I'll meet you at the bar at Hotel Ramayan at 4 p.m. OK, that would be nice. I'll see you then. Ms. Park, I have all the necessary documents. You just need to sign these papers to open an account. OK. And here's your bank card. And you can start using our ATM and internet banking immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Mark. So how's Kenneth doing? Two police officers say he should be out by next Tuesday. OK. I need to go back to Singapore. I have work. There's nothing you can do here. I'll call once he gets released. Everything is under control. Mr. Lim, I cannot approve your claims. They are not in order. If you want me to approve your claims, please relook and do it correctly, OK? Hey, Mark. Is Kenneth out? Soon. The two police officers assured me he'll be released as planned. Are you in the KL or in the States? Yeah, I'm back in the States. Nothing much I can do there. That's why I'm calling you. What's about? Remember Mark's oil shipment? Yes. Well, everything is in order, but they can't transfer the payment of US 250000 Kenneth's in prison, so he can't open a KL account. And I'm back in the States. So he's asking if you could use your KL bank account to receive the US 250000 You're saying that they are putting money into my account? Yes, dear. There's no need to raise any more money. By then, Kenneth will be out. Great. Thank goodness. It's finally over. Thank you. Mark said that instead of doing a bank transfer of the 250000 he had made arrangements with the United Nations Clearing House to have me pick up the money personally. I googled United Nations Clearing House and realized that one of the regional officers was indeed in KL. Ms. Serena Kwok. Yes. Hi, I'm Mr. Lin. Hello, hi. Mr. Johnny sent me to pick you. Uh-huh. One UN. Let me help you. Sure. How about your flight? Um, good, not too bad. Um, where are we going? One UN office, madam. Okay. Hi, Ms. Kok. My name is Lisa. I'm Mr. Johnny's personal assistant. Come, follow me. I will need your passport. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your visitor pass. Come, follow me. I 
Hi. Mr. Johnny, this is Serena Kwok. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, welcome to my office. Step into my uh, meeting room. Coffee or tea? Coffee, please. And my name card. Thank you. It's good to finally meet you. It's been quite a burden to hold on to Mr. Brown's money. $250,000, U.S. currency. Okay. Do you have the sovereign to remove the U.N. stamp? Sorry? The money isn't legal tender unless the U.N. stamp is removed. I don't understand. Didn't Mr. Fengler inform you that you need the sovereign to remove the U.N. stamp? No, he did not. Where can I get a sovereign? Our office in New York, but it'll take quite a few days to come here. I suppose I can wait. But it isn't cheap. How much? About $170,000. What? It's almost half of what is in this case. I do not understand, Mr. Fendler. You told me everything is clear. Everything. And what's this damn thing? It is US dollar $170,000. Don't worry, I just got off the phone with Mr. DiCarpio in the New York office. And he said he will ship some of the old stock over at a discounted price. It'll only cost about US 50K. Can you manage that? Okay, I'll see what I can do. But it's going to take a bit of time. Okay, well, call me when you've transferred the US 50,000, and I'll tell Mr. Johnny to come over to the hotel with the bag. No, I can go to one UN office tomorrow. No, 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 don't do that. Why not? Um, I think they're closed for the next two days. Renovating, I think. Here is the Sylvan. My accountant said you only transferred $47,000. As you can see, we are trying our best to help you out. But the accountant won't release anything unless everything is being paid up front. You are an accountant. You should know about this. Wait. I have a US $3,000. This is my company's petty cash. I want a receipt for that. No problem. the solvent. That's impossible. The amount you transferred was only US 47,000. I know. I gave the balance to Johnny and he passed me the solvent. He said he would call you the bad by today. I called Johnny and he denied that you gave him any money. They won't release Kenneth's 250,000 US until they get the full amount. Johnny can deny all he wants. I have the receipt. Johnny, what's going on? Mr. Fenner called me and he said he did not receive the US $3,000. I have the receipt and I can prove it. You called him and sorted it out with Mr. Fenner. I'm coming over to one UN office and collect the money myself. Can I help you? I will see Johnny at one UN. I'm sorry, one UN. Union officer! Student office. Mark! Mark, what's going on? The UN office gone! It was a foul offense! Damn it, it must be those Nigerian scammers again. It's a well-known scam fronted by a conglomerate in Dubai. They must have somehow hijacked the office and tricked you. No, no! You part of it too! How could I be so stupid? Listen to me. Kenneth is going to be released. You can meet him soon. That's no cat, that is no money. Everything was a lie. Everything was a big scam. 
Miss Cole, you were saying? They took 200,000 of my saving in less than two months. They took it all. My saving, my money. I even took out bank loans. And it all began when you started chatting with this Kenneth Brown on the dating app. Yes. He said he was in Singapore and I felt safe. How do you know that he's in Singapore? This app. It has this location feature. Whenever we talk, it showed that he was in Singapore. And have you ever met Kenneth face to face before? No. Never. Cyber threats are evolving and becoming more sophisticated. Incidents of hacking are on the rise. Anyone could be hit. Please, we need to be more vigilant. In the story that you just heard, the perpetrators spared no effort in creating a web of lies to gain the victim's trust. The fact is, everyone has a part to play in cybersecurity. Please exercise caution when you share personal information online. Please be careful when you befriend strangers on the internet. If in doubt, check with your close friends, your family. Get an objective view on this matter. The increase in online love scams is a cause for concern. The number of cases reported in the first half of this year rose to 141, an increase of 49 cases from the same period last year. The total amount cheated this year comes up to about $3.8 million. When we return after the break, we look at another form of online scams. Scams come in all forms. What we have just witnessed was a very elaborate scam. But there are also many simple scams which are targeted at ordinary citizens like you and me. With computers and smartphones becoming such a big part of our lives, these gadgets are fast becoming another way for scammers to trick people into parting with their money. Hi. <laughs> You're late, Lucy. Sorry. Why are you uploading? More sexy Susie picture. My last picture has 242 likes. Isn't that the photo I took yesterday at your 21st birthday party? Yeah, your photo skills very good. I know, right? I'm the best. Oh, by the way, are you going to Eddie's farewell party on Sunday? Of course. Without me, sexy Susie, the party will be dealt with. Come on, let's go. I want to go touch up my makeup. Okay, I need to go too. Hurry. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. So what are you going to wear on Sunday? I don't know. Maybe something sexy. a gift card for Eddie. So I said to Eddie, don't text me, I'll text you. Oh, speaking of Eddie, you haven't paid me for his iGift card. Huh? What card? You know, the one I asked him to buy online. What? I, I didn't ask you to buy anything. Least of all for the boring Eddie. You did. And I have a message to prove it. Message? Nah, see? Okay, that's my name and it's my account. But I can assure you that I didn't send you this. Oh my goodness, I've been scammed. I never thought that it could happen to me. What? That means I've been hacked? No! no! Oh, Lucy, why didn't you check with me? This is what you should have done. Buy a gift card for Eddie. Okay. Hello? It's me, Lucy. Didn't you just send me a message to ask me to get an iGift card for Eddie? Eddie, why would I want to get anything for him? Because I just got a message from you. What? Oh no, my account has been hacked. 
I gotta go. I gotta go change all my password. I'll call you again, okay? Bye. Be aware that scammers can gain access to your social media accounts by guessing your passwords, especially if your passwords are not strong. From your social media accounts, scammers can gather sufficient information to deceive your friends to make online purchases or even transfer money. Here are some measures to protect both you and your loved ones. Alert the account holder if you receive a message of such nature. Adopt good online and mobile security measures. Use password and encryption to protect your data. Password protect and turn on encryption for your mobile device to prevent unauthorized access to data stored on your device. Always use strong passwords and do change your password regularly. To find out more on common types of scams in Singapore, please visit www.scamalert.sg. If you have any information relating to such scams, call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. We hope you have found this episode of Crime Watch insightful and informative. If you have always wanted to find out more about what the police and the rest of the home team agencies do, join us at our home team festival. There will be exciting activities and opportunities to interact with the home team officers and a chance to experience for yourself the latest technologies used by the home team. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, please drop us an email. Until next time, I'm DSP Julia Slim, signing off. <laughs>